the immortal John Hancock here, and I want to talk about uh, my connection with Xbox, and I'm a huge fan, and I'm a huge fan of collecting uh, Xbox uh, game systems and games. Uh, my collection isn't as extensive as some of my other collections, but uh, I do love collecting for this classic console. Now, the original Xbox is nearing its 15th year anniversary, and I just wanted to talk about my connections with it. And so, um, I grew up in Northern California, and I got to experience Halo before it came out. I knew a video game reviewer at the time, and he invited me over to his house and was showing me some launch titles of Xbox, and he predicted that Halo would be a massive seller. And I, at the time, uh, just wasn't a big first-person shooter fan, but... There, you know, he uh, he says, you know what, this game's going to be huge, and he was right. And uh, I, you know, at the time I couldn't afford an Xbox, and so I bought one later on used. Uh, the same year uh, Xbox came out, and then it died. And what what was kind of cool though is that I was able to uh, get a replacement, and um, and uh, this here it is. So this is my uh, system I've had. Uh, for a while now, um, it definitely, um, it, it, uh, it, it definitely has been in my collection for a while. Uh, the box, I think I got later because my replacement unit was, didn't have a box. But anyways, uh, boxed unit I've had in my collection for 15 years. And, uh, you know, later on, I think, uh, Xbox Live came later. And so, you know, I played a lot of Halo. I mean, that essentially this was the game that I played uh, with my Xbox the most. But Xbox Live came later. And then I my first Xbox Live experience was with the game called Crimson Skies. And Crimson Skies, if you haven't checked it out, is a, is a, great, a, a, a great kind of uh, arcade style. Um, air, kind of like a futuristic... Uh, airplane dogfight game and it's it's a lot of fun I, I totally recommend it I'm gonna do some gameplay videos later I'm preparing for a big show so uh, I don't have time for that unfortunately right now so but Crimson Skies check it out well um, honestly uh, with with my Xbox gaming gaming I did I, I played uh, fewer games but invested more time into them and I uh, I I, uh, I recently uh, researched online, and that uh, typically Xbox game systems, that's the case that more gameplay is actually played on Xbox systems than other consoles. And so, uh, the next game I really, really, really got into was Halo 2. And uh, you know, uh, <laughs> I'm kind of sad to admit that my original, my original Halo 2 um, Steel Case Collector's Edition has succumbed to some rust and you know from the moves and everything but I still have it and a true story about my my Xbox uh, um, Halo 2 experience I played this game so much after it came out that I actually um, white spots appeared on the bottom of my uh, Halo 2 disc and I had to get them buffed out and I guess it was because the coating was starting to come apart from uh, the Xbox game disc. Anyways, I played Halo 2 more than any other game on the console. I I even got the 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 multiplayer map pack when it came out, and even the downloadable only ones right at the very end when Halo uh, 2 was being discontinued. I played Halo 2 more than anything else. Uh, was a huge Halo fan. Uh, didn't like three as much, but uh, some of the other Halo fan, uh, Halo Four was pretty good. Um, but uh, on the original Xbox, played Halo a ton. Of course, everybody else did too. But you know, the Xbox uh, library, I think, um, doesn't get the credit that it deserves. It wasn't as diverse as the PlayStation Two, and it didn't have some of the the the, the great franchises that Nintendo had. But it had some great games. It had some good, some decent third-party support. Um, one thing uh, back that I give credit for uh, for my Xbox is that um, I really got into retro gaming at the time when the Xbox came out. And 
one of the first compilations that I really enjoyed. And there's other compilations that are better, but was the Atari Anthology. Now the Atari, Atari Anthology, uh, this, this anthology on the original Xbox, at the time, you know, um, I was getting into retro gaming, but I really liked that I could play all the, a um, lot of the classic Atari franchises on, on my, on my Xbox. And, you know, at the time, you know, was, uh, I didn't have an AV modded 2600 system. And so it looked a lot better on my Xbox. And so I, I, I played a lot of the classics on this. So actually, this is a really good compilation. Uh, there is a new uh, compilation coming out for uh, current gen systems, PS4 and Xbox One. I think it's called Atari Flashbacks, Volume 1 and 2. I am going to do a review of that once it comes out and uh, take a look for that. But, you know... Um, the next game that I invested quite a bit of time in was uh, a huge Star Wars fan. I, I played Knights of the Old Republic, and it it was such a fantastic um, game. It had a ton of bugs. It was glitchy, but the story was so well done on the Xbox that uh, I, I plugged through it. I never did beat it. Um, I got really far. Um, it's just one of those things. Uh, I, I'm a pretty busy person, and I just never had the time to invest to, to finish it. One of these days, hopefully I will, but Knights of the Old, Old Republic was definitely um, a highlight of gaming on, on, on the Xbox for me. The next Star Wars game that I played pro uh, it was kind of the swan song for me um, on, on multiplayer gaming. On, on the system was was Star Wars Battlefront 2 and um, the Star Wars Battle Xbox Live for me was uh, a system seller I played a lot of it um, I played online quite a bit uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2 to me was just uh, everything you would want great in a Star Wars multiplayer game and and I'm really uh, at, at, at the time you know with some of the disappointment from the uh, the the prequel trilogy, it was nice to see that at least the games uh, that were coming out were, were solid. And definitely, definitely got that from that. Um, I don't think you can talk about unique uh, gaming experiences on the original Xbox without mentioning this game. And yes, I have the game. I, I have the, the, the boxed original controller with the green buttons. Um, an early, early video of mine I show actually how big the Steel Battalion box is, and that was a video I did years ago. But Steel Battalion to me, um, when I first heard about it, I was kind of overwhelmed with, oh my gosh, it's a 40 button controller, and uh, there's even a button for your windshield wipers. And so uh, I played that. Um, I didn't play it as much as some of the other games I mentioned because uh, to me, it was a great experience. It was just... Um, there was a lot going on. It was more of a, I, I busted the Steel Battalion out to my friends when I did a tournament or something. It was people definitely wanted to play it just as for the unique gaming experience. And so, um, but that's really my memories of my personal connections to what I played quite a bit on the original Xbox. What are your memories of the original Xbox? Did did you play it back in the day? Was that something you collect now? Um, you know, with all these. Uh, prices of retro gaming going up it's nice to know that the original Xbox and and a lot of its games are, are fairly affordable you know it's kind of it's kind of right now in a nice window where if you want a game and you don't want to spend a lot of money you can pick up an original Xbox fairly cheap um, you don't need a CRT for it you can hook it up to an HD TV and it looks great and um, I just I, I think it's a great system uh, the, the downside is uh, like 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 I mentioned earlier, my system died, and so I had to replace it. Um, there are people that can fix these systems and consoles and even uh, modify them uh, to, to put a whole bunch of things on, on a system and make it a, ga a great retro gaming console. So that's my connections with the original Xbox and my memories of it. I think it's a great console. Um, I think the 360 uh, game-wise was even better. Um, it had its own problems, but every console does so I just want to thank uh, everybody for for watching my videos I, I still plan on doing two videos a week this is the immortal John Hancock see you next week